Hey, what's going on everybody? It looks like we are finally getting a pullback. This is a good thing, not a bad thing, right? We don't want to continue creeping up here because you're just going to collapse. So we want it to be a nice orderly correction. Um, so, you know, looking here at Theta, uh, really not much to say here on Theta except when I go to the four hour chart, um, you know, we broke below the trend line. That was the first signal. Okay, we're probably heading back down. So what I want to see is a little bit of a pullback and then a continuation. I want to see another pullback and another continuation. And then I want to see this be a five wave move that gets us back up here, right? Similar to, um, you know, kind of like what Bitcoin's doing now. And then we want to see maybe this even break even a little higher, taking this liquidity, but then ultimately a bigger correction that sort of resets this area, right? And then that big third mega wave that can hopefully break us completely out, right? So that's kind of the, that's the idea here, right? So the other idea would be to simply, it's basically the same thing, but it, you know, taking a little bit longer here, uh, essentially building a base, right? So this thing can still continue to kind of trend sideways a little bit before it gets going, right? Maybe some type of Wyckoff or something. So there's a couple different ways it can form. Um, but basically, that's, that's about it. I mean, we're still very bullish, right? Uh, you can see XRP is finally pulling back. Right, XRP is down 10% today. You can see right there, 9%, 10%, right? While the rest of the market, 3%, um, you know, 2%. And you can say, well, that's bad. And I say, no, that's good. Why? Because XRP went up a lot more than the rest of the market. So it deserved that 10% um, drop. And it might, it might continue to drop right so you guys know we've been looking at xrp comparing it to the previous structure it had back in 2017 right i'm not going to go through this again but essentially we're in this reaccumulation structure similar to what happened here and we're bouncing we're bouncing we're bouncing and then we fall through and scare everybody right we grab that liquidity and then we take it to the upside so if you look at this, that definitely scared people. And, you know, we were been talking about this the whole time. Like this drop here could be that final wave, right? One, two, three, four, five. We get down here, right? Similar. We're bouncing. We're bouncing. Boom. And then what we wanted to see is a quick move back to the upside, right? So we reclaimed this range we've been in since for about a year. Basically, we've been going sideways for a whole year, right? Because this was the Judge Torres ruling right here where we exploded. And on the anniversary, right, July 13th, 2023, we exploded from 45 cents all the way up to 95 cents. And on the anniversary of that, right, we obviously wasn't that much but it, compared to last time, but... It definitely reclaimed this range we've been in for a year. So basically, XRP has been working inside of this range for a year, right? And we're consolidated only to then just break down and, and it be all for nothing, right? And everybody's stop loss gets triggered. It comes down, but then bam, it comes right back up because it was a fake out, right? Now, could it be a double fake out, meaning... We fake out to the downside, we come back in, only to then come back down. Yes, it's certainly possible because the reason why that would be is this could be a flat. So A, B, C, an expanded flat, right? And if I flip that upside down, the chart upside down, sometimes you can see it a little better. 
Um, but you know, I think you know it, it's a, it's definitely possible. It could be a flat. Uh, it's not my favorite count, but you know, it, basically we would have A, B, and then one, two, three, four, five for C. So A, B, C. Which basically, if this is a flat, right? Hope, hope to God it's not. But if it is, then that could mean, you know, that could mean that this is only uh, a fourth wave. So, for example, we have one, two, three, four, five, right? But instead of this being one, two, three, four, five, we have one, two, three, and then all of this is floor. Uh, we have a four. We have a flat in the middle, right? So one, two, three, four, and then we come down for five. But look how big this is compared to how big that is. That's why I don't really like it a lot, right? So I'm not a fan of it. Um, but you never know, right? You never know. We do have a doji here on the two-day chart, right? And it's the, the daily candle is going to close. So I'm expecting a pullback. I've been expecting a pullback for the last couple days. Um, so, you know, because we have, we got five waves. That's the important part here, right? One, two, three, four, five. Now you can argue that this is one, two, and then this is one, two, three, four, five. So all of that's three. Now we're getting four, then we get five. But if that's the case, then this needs to be similar to this. So if, it, if, if we still need a fifth wave to the upside, right, then all I'm gonna do is take a bars pattern just about right there, give it a little bit of wiggle room, and then I'm gonna place this here just for a time analysis perspective, right? So from a time analysis perspective, and I'm gonna drop it there. Um, you know, we, we still got a little bit more to go here, right? So essentially, this should be wrapping up the correction and then, then we continue for that fifth wave. And then we get the big ABC pullback, right? So that's one way you can look at it. Um, so either if we, we, we get a hit to the high, then we start our big ABC down to 50 cents, right? Between 47 and 51 cents is my target. Or this is one, two, three, four, five, and now we're starting an A, B, C down here to about, uh, let's see what that is here. See, we have all of this. If you look left, let's go to the four hour and then let's take this off. Um, so a few things we could do is just simply take a Fibonacci retracement. And then I'm gonna take this box here and I'm going to place it right here. So I would imagine somewhere in that area between 48 and 51. Now, if it's if we still have to hit the high, then we could come down to the 382 right here and then hit the high, right? So then what we would do is take our Fibonacci and extend it higher and then our 618 is about 50 cents. Uh, so between 50 and 54 cents, that would be the pullback wave. So we'll find out. I mean, it kind of looks like it could hit the high again. I don't know, let's see, is there bullish dive? Yeah, so we have bearish divergence. That's what you want to see between the fourth, between the, um, uh, the, the third and the fifth right so we we have that um so that kind of gives us an indication you know that five waves can be over but if we do hit the high again you know i'm looking for an abc pullback so that's basically um what we have here but the good thing is right we got the big breakout um 
we, I mean, the breakout of this range in here, right? Remember, we've been in this range for a long time. So the fact that we came up and we reclaimed this support in here speaks volume. Now we can kind of play around a little bit, even dropping a little bit lower, but I think it's gonna flag out in here and then continue higher. That's what I would imagine, right? Could be wrong, we'll see. Um, if everybody gets too bullish and goes all in and everybody leverages up, then this thing's gonna die, right? So people have to still be convinced that it's bearish, right? Because, you know, everybody can't win the same trade. So, um, but, you know, essentially we have this channel here, right? And it's kind of, we're kind of going up. It's not, a, it's not gonna be a perfect channel. That's not the point, but I'm just showing you. And now we have this downwards channel here, right? So now the idea is to have another channel heading back to the upside right so kind of like shoots and ladders ever play that game when you're a kid um <laughs> so you know that's that's basically it for xrp so when i go to bitcoin here obviously we're looking at this as a fourth wave we've been talking about that for a long time um essentially you know, this wave two, we want it to be sort of equal or about equal to this wave four, right? So this one's about 115 days from the top to the bottom, roughly. This one's more about 150 days. So it's still, it, it's, it's, it's kind of in that same vicinity, right? Um, so uh i think because since wave two was so long you know it, i think it balances out a little bit here in wave four so it, it it's appropriate and it's actually has good proportion so one two three four five wave two one two three four five wave four so essentially we have a complete three wave correction Right. Notice the length of this is the same length as that. Right. And now we have this impulse. So what do we want to see? We want to see a three wave pullback that probably gets us way down to about 50 between 58 and 59 K. I would say, yeah, between 58 and actually maybe 60 K would be a good spot to buy the dip. Right. And then we would come up probably take out this liquidity and then maybe flag out one more time and then kick off that wave. That's that's the way I wanna see it happen. That's the way I can imagine it happening, uh, especially after this impulse. So when we zoom in, let's look at the four hour real quick. I mean, right off the bat, what do you see? This is the, this is the you know, we have a, a one, two, one, two, right? So, what structure has started off as a one, two, one, two that turned out to be bullish? Well, it actually occurred at the end of this wave two, which is in the same degree as our wave four, which gives us confluence here, right? So we can see right here, we came down and then we had a one, two, one, two, right? It's kind of like an M. It's like, imagine, the McDonald's logo is skateboarding down a San Francisco slope. <laughs> um, anyways, so we have that one, two, one, two, right? And then we continue to pop to the upside here. So let's go back to where we are now. It's a lot, it's definitely smaller, but it still qualifies, right? One, two, one, two. So we get up here, three. This could be a wave four, so one, two, one, two. So this is basically one, two, and then obviously this could be four and then five, right? So we kind of want to see another hit to the high. So Bitcoin actually s suggests that XRP and could hit the high one more time, 
right? Maybe Bitcoin hits the high and XRP is only a retracement. Doesn't mean both of them have to break the high, right? But uh, we want to see that and then we want to see a pullback back down. If we start pulling back down now, it's it's okay. But uh, we're going to definitely want to see some follow through after that. So preferably we flag out, hit the high, get that fifth wave, pull back, and then continue to the upside. So um, that's basically it here. ADA, it's same thing kind of like with ADA, right? It, it seems like this is a one, uh, one, two, three. I mean, this could have been a, a fifth wave here, right? It's it's a little bit trashy, um, but yeah, we're 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 starting to pull back. I think this is going to be a bullish pullback here, and then let's come up and hit the high. So th all the charts are kind of rhyming. They look a little bearish. Um, now, if I zoom in a lot, let's let's zoom in even more. Let's go down to like the 30 minute chart. Um, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. A, B, C, maybe a flat in here. And then we hit the high and then we come down and then we go. So that's that's kind of the way I would imagine it happening because if this is a if this if this third wave has five waves and now we're in wave four um yeah I think I think that's that's a that that's plausible for sure so I want to see that hit to the high for for ADA if we don't get it it's not the end of the world um but uh, you know, it, it'd be better if we did. So Ethereum, you know, we got that head and shoulders going on here. So to me, right, one, two, one, two, three, and now it looks like wave four, and then we're gonna get wave five, right? So this looks like it could be some kind of flat. Well, actually, maybe we did get the five because I was going to say it looks like a flat, but this is one, two, three, four, five. It looks like the fifth wave could be a diagonal, right? So one, two, one, two, three, four, and five. So all of that's wave three. So one, two, all of that's three. Right, and now we're in wave four. So we still need a fifth wave, right? So um, this could be A, B, and then C, and then we hit the high, and then we have the correction. So it, you know, it, whatever it is, like it's, it's no point in trying to know the nitty gritty stuff because at the end of the day, for me, I like to zoom out um, and just know where we're where we're at here. Because if I zoom out, this looks a lot like what Bitcoin did in its wave two: rise, crash, retrace, reaccumulation. Now maybe we might go sideways in here, right? And then break out and reaccumulation. This could be reaccumulation in here as well so we might be you know consolidating in here maybe for a little bit but we do know the ethereum etf should be launching sometime this month or next month i think it's this month so you know i you know do you play the bullish side of it or do you play the side where it's like well everybody's going to be bullish so i'm going to be short i think there's going to be a lot of demand for the ethereum etf but I wouldn't be surprised if we get a flagging here, hit to the high, right? Let's say the Ethereum ETF comes out, I, I believe they said next week, right? And then we flag out, we hit the high, everybody's excited, boom, we're breaking out, let's go, let's go, let's go. But then it just ends the fifth wave. So we have one, two, three, four, five, 
and everybody's buying the top here because the ETF just came out. And then we come down for an ABC, have a 618 retrace and then continue higher. So that's kind of what I'm thinking here. Okay, that's sort of my main idea. If we don't get that and we start pulling back now, right, and we just continue to pull back, I'm still expecting another hit to the high. Right? So, you know, if it, you know, it, we're, we're regardless of of that, I'm still expecting another bounce. Now, if this bounce duck comes up and doesn't take out the high and then instead just goes into a retracement and pulls back, then I'm just looking at it as a bigger correction. So then I would look at it as, as a one, two, three, one, two, three, and then we're either gonna get five or three. So then it would turn into a big ABC, something like that, right? Which means it would have to come down and reset. So maybe three up, three back down, and then it just, you know, it has to find its footing to get a legit five waves to the upside so we don't want these threes we want fives um, file coin yeah file coin see how it's not really it's imp it's not really impulsive it's just kind of overlapping a little bit right if you flip it upside down it seems like it definitely needs a pullback here right so i wouldn't be surprised if we come all the way back down to here basically getting a pull back down into here right so um you know if you take your profits maybe buy back in a little bit and that's just not for filecoin but that's for a lot of them right i'm still gonna do a xlm video coming up soon as well but uh you know one two one two three four five one two three let's get four and then five and then pull back and then go i mean that's just like all the charts are saying the same thing kind of until that changes i'll, I'll let you know if you hit that subscribe button because you're not going to want to miss this because we're definitely at a big pivotal point here in crypto I mean, this is it right here. Uh, it took us over a year to complete this three-way move, right? So, and not just for XLM, but a lot of coins. So, boom, 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 right? We have a three. We have three up. We have three down, and that three down took a year. And now we have a big impulse to the upside. So we get a little bit of a pullback. We're gonna want to see that six one eight or or at least the fifty or something, right? And then you go long and that would be a big push to the upside so you're definitely not going to want to miss it not just for xlm but for a lot of the coins right so uh, i haven't looked at theta fuel in a little bit here yeah so same thing exactly the same thing here for theta fuel it could be a, a like a diagonal right want to see a pullback and then a continuation because we're still under that downward resistance line here with with theta fuel are we let's see uh yeah see you can see that sort of downtrend we broke it a little bit but um we're still under that pressure here but what i like about theta fuel is we have one two three four five and this is A, this is B, and then all of that C. So it looks like a, f a big expanded flat, right? And we're, you, you notice we're, we're correcting to the downside, which means, you know, if we impulsed, we're in, we impulse to the upside and now we're correcting to the downside so it's only a matter of time before this thing I believe will break out and, and, and it's not financial advice right I could be wrong this thing can continue down and we have ideas for for bearish counts as well so um, you know if for example like Matic 
if this is one, two, and all of this is three, this could be a wave four before we get a wave five, and then go, right? So I don't think that's gonna happen, but the point is we're, 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 we're trying to hash out a bottom here for a reversal, just like how this was, a, we hashed out a bottom in here. You can see how long it took, so it might take some time. Algo. I like the three wave shape. Boom, three, three, three. So it looks like a WXY, so one, two, three, four, five, WXY, one, two, let's get a three, four, five, but it might take some time. So anyways, that'll do it for this video. I just wanted to pop in and kind of ex go through a few charts here. Um, you know, total three, we're back above, we're back on the high part here, but you know, look at it. It looks like a big bull flag here. So if I just take that and put it there, you can see, you know, we could hit up to almost $970 billion. Um, it does look like a fourth wave to me. You can see we're impulsing and now we're correcting. We're correcting to the downside. It's a nice three wave shape. We have an impulse off the three wave shape. So this is the whole, this is all the altcoins, right? So we want to see an ABC, maybe back down to the middle line and then a breakout. So we should flag out probably from now, maybe to the end of the month. I mean, really, it, we could be going down for the rest of the month. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll keep an eye on it. Just, you know what I mean? So uh, for Theta, you know, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump more into Theta later this week. So stay tuned. We, we got plenty of time, so it's okay. All right, guys, that'll do it. Please hit that like. really helps out. And uh, drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, what coins do you feel are going to have the advantage in this upcoming potential expansion phase that we're about to face here, right? And uh, it's, it's actually kind of exciting because we have Ethereum ETF coming out soon. We have the lawsuit potentially wrapping up this summer. So two exciting things this summer. And then obviously the election coming up, regulations, XRP ETF. And then maybe like I can see him doing a basket of altcoins, right? For example, like, uh, like a basket of them right like uh so it'd be like matic solana you know theta um and algo for example just putting them all in a basket and then they're kind of like traded together uh so you, you you don't know what they're gonna do right just like how like they could be like a total three etf for example like you know my $20 is not just buying Theta, it's buying a basket of them and they're all sort of trading together. So that could be an idea how they can consolidate it because having an ETF for every altcoin, that would make your head spin, right? So this is just not gonna happen, right? It's only gonna be the big top names and uh, like I could see Chainlink having one one day. So anyways, that'll do it. I will catch you on the next one. Cheers.